would like to take this time to say happy 10 years to L4GS TV channel 90 on YouTube. 10 years has flown by, but I have known Alex Paris, the creator and founder of L4GS TV, for almost eight and a half years. And I just want to say, Alex, I am very proud of you for all the content that you put on your YouTube channel. Nothing I hate, nothing negative, all is good. You're very talented, very creative, and I'm very glad to have you as a fellow creator as well as one of my all-time, well, my all-time best friends. And I'm very glad to have you as a part of my life. So, again, if you guys would like to see all the great content that Alex has in store for you, subscribe to L4GS TV Channel 90 and tap the notification bell to be notified for when he or when he posts a new video as well as in the comments let him know that you were sent by Lennon's Kitchen to subscribe and thank you so much for your support also follow L4GS TV on Facebook and Instagram and like always Alex stay classy and keep on doing what you love never give up on your dream and your passion and I'm very, very proud of you for 10 awesome years. I know, I know it's been um, a rough uh, 10 years at times with, of course, some situations that have occurred. But, you know, there's more good than bad when it comes to lots of love. So keep on being awesome and Alex like promised I have a video which I will show to you right now so happy 10th anniversary and this is for you man pizza using pie crust hi guys this is Lennon from Lennon's Kitchen today's recipe is something that I recently came up with so without further ado I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the ingredients for this recipe. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to Lennon's Kitchen and follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lennon's Kitchen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the recipe and I'm going to tell you the ingredients as follows. Okay, for this pizza, we're going to need one pie crust, but for a standard pizza, we'll need one pie crust. And this is already uh, made pie crust. You can find this at the refrigerated section at your local grocery store. Or you can also use your homemade pie recipe, pie crust recipe as well. For this particular recipe, for one pizza, you're going to need four slices. Your desired amount of pepperoni, and this is optional. And one tablespoon of pizza sauce or to your desired liking and we will also need an egg wash to brush on the edge of the crust so without further ado oh and we're also going to need a pizza pan or if you don't have a pizza pan a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or with nonstick cooking spray Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the first step. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove this pie crust from the package and we are going to place it carefully on this pizza pan. And all I want to do is want to carefully unroll it onto your baking sheet. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to carefully roll the edges up like so and we are trying to mimic the pizza crust effect and we can do so by carefully rolling the edges up like this. We want to roll them up as best as we can until it looks something like this. Next we're going to take some pizza sauce and this can be your favorite pizza sauce brand and we're going to add 
about one tablespoon. We're going to carefully spread with a spoon. Now if you'd like to add a little bit more extra sauce at this point you can go ahead and do so. This, it will actually make two tablespoons of pizza sauce which is fine. And you want to make sure you get it all the way to the edges to cover the whole pizza and you want to use your flat side. Next we're going to add some sliced mozzarella cheese and in this case it's going to be Four slices. One, two, three, and four. Now since this is a pepperoni pizza, we will need enough slices of pepperoni to cover most of the cheese. It should look something like this. Next, we're going to use an egg wash, and this is one egg beaten with just a little bit of water. I'm going to brush it all along the edge of this crust. And this will just give it that golden color on the edges. And you want to cover as much of the edge as possible. Now this pizza is ready to go into the oven. This will go into the, an oven at 400 degrees or according to your package of pre-made pie crust instructions or according to your baking instructions for your homemade pie crust. This will be in there for 13 minutes. The pizza is finally ready so now we're going to go ahead and cut it with our handy dandy pizza cutter. how I did. Look at this. Let's see how I did. Mm. Very good. The cheese is nice and melted. The pepperoni is nice and crispy. And there's a beautiful golden crust on the edge of the pie crust here. Very easy recipe. You can use homemade store, uh, homemade pie crusts as well. Very economical. And it can also, uh, children can also help too. You can also use whatever toppings you like on your pie crust. You can use chicken, banana pepper, pineapple, Canadian bacon, ham, whatever toppings you want, you can apply it to this recipe. You don't have to use pepperoni or cheese as the main toppings. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And remember to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lennon's Kitchen. And here at Lennon's Kitchen, I make cooking easy. I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye, guys.